Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your week ahead for the 8th through the 14th. I gotta take them. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just gonna see whatever comes up for the week ahead. This may or may not resonate with you. When a card falls out, I've gotta take it. It's just the way it is. Ooh. You guys may be getting over some betrayal. This is this is freedom. This is breaking free. It's liberation. Maybe you've been dealing with maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anybody, but whoever this person is, they're probably not very well suited for you. And maybe they're a Debbie Downer. Maybe they got nothing good to say. Just saying. I'm not sure if this is the person you're dealing with. They could be holding you back. Or they could be holding you back. And now, you know... You're breaking the chains or you're breaking free or they're breaking free from you. Somebody, this is liberation, breaking free from somebody that is not very well suited for you. They are, you know, they, they, they don't bring you good news. They don't bring you good things. They may have a mentality that is miserable, you know, and they're bringing you down. You're breaking free from that. I don't know. There could be some secrets. There could be some lies. There could be some things that are hidden below the surface that you don't know about. They may not be telling you the whole truth, okay? Um, could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer as well. Um, somebody that isn't putting in a lot of effort. They aren't really working hard. Maybe you're giving up on them. Maybe maybe they're just lazy. I mean, they, I don't know. I feel as though we have somebody here that is absolutely giving up. They're not putting in effort. Whether they're choosing to break free from you or you're breaking free from them, there's definitely something going on that you don't know about, okay? There's something hidden here below the surface that... You're, you're not, you don't know the whole story. You don't. You may think you know the whole story, but you don't know the whole story. Uh, you know. Um, you know, there's obstacles here. There's lies. The Eight of Swords reversed is lies. And this is lies as well. So you could be dealing with a liar. Just saying. You could be dealing with somebody who can talk the talk, but they sure as hell don't walk the walk. Okay? Just, just saying. Um... Now, this is, well, let's, we're going to get some more cards. You guys are holding on to something, and it's getting old. You may be holding on to the feelings or the emotions that you had for this person. Maybe you, you had feelings for this person, and that's why you've been holding on. But I see a change in direction here, Scorpio. I feel like this is a dead end. I mean, the death reverse is a dead end. It's like there's no relationship growth here. There's secrets. There's lies. There's obstacles in the way. There's a reason why this person isn't putting in effort. They're not telling you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, okay? I feel like I see, I mean, obviously there's a change in direction here. In the environment, somebody is changing their direction. This is, it's... it's the time, the time is now for this change to happen. This is fated. There's a fated change. It's time for change. It's time for you to, there's a purpose. There's a reason why this isn't working out. You have to believe, you have to, you know, realize that if a relationship isn't growing, if, you know, there's some deception, if there's some lies, there's a reason why you got to break free from things that don't serve you because there's something better. So you guys have been holding on to something that needs to be released and I think it's because you had feelings for it at one time but now it's just holding you back it is it really is holding you back and maybe this week you're beginning to realize you're be maybe you're beginning to realize there's no relationship here there's no relationship growth this is unreal you know it's not real maybe you're starting to realize that that you do have another opportunity maybe you're starting to realize you know that you know, better things are, are ahead. Um, destined change, of course, here. You guys, um, you know, the Eight of Swords reverse is let go of the emptiness, okay? Let go of it. It's time to finally remove those obstacles that have held you back, that you have allowed to hold you back. You guys have been holding on to... some sort of deception okay you have and it's it, it's really time to let it go you probably have a better opportunity a blessing a true 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 blessing waiting for you once you accept the pain and you deal with the pain you receive a blessing when the empress gives birth she you know it hurts to give birth she gives birth she receives a blessing she receives a miracle so once you accept the pain that somebody has dealt you <clears throat> You will receive a blessing. This is something that is absolutely beautiful. This is abundance. This is 
This is tender loving care. So you may have an opportunity with somebody, you know, if you are the male watching this, this is what you got waiting for you, okay? This is what's on the, once that wheel spins and you allow it and you stop trying to control it and you get your foot out of the way, you got this opportunity for something beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new beginning. If you are the female, this is you. This is you, you know, becoming the pick of the litter. You. This is you... Um, being the pick, being the choice, letting your beauty shine, raising your vibration. You know, once you accept the pain that somebody has caused you, you know, you become the empress. You because you've dealt with the pain, you had to deal with the pain. Now you're gonna. Re everybody wants you, okay? Everybody wants this woman because she's beautiful. She's kind. She's caring. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's creative. She knows her worth. So if you are the Scorpio woman, this is the energy that you are taking on. You're looking really, really, really good. You know, you're, you're right. You're glowing, put it that way. If you are the Scorpio male, this is what you got waiting for you. This is carrying a heavy weight. Somebody is carrying a heavy weight and it has to do with this lie. You need to let go. You need to let go of that whatever that thing is that's holding you back. It could be another person. It could be a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this could also be you. This could be you, you know, opening your heart. You could be dealing, for some of you, you may be, if you are the female, I believe you could be dealing, I don't know, this could go so many different ways, it really could, but what I feel like, we have a man here that does have really good intentions, but you notice he's way over here, he's not putting in effort. He's not putting in effort. He's burdened. He's overwhelmed. We have a male here that is overwhelmed. He's he's not putting in effort. He's he's thinking too much. He's holding on to something. He's trying to control. He's clinging to control. Yeah, we do. We have a masculine. This is the masculine. Whether it's whoever this is, we have a masculine here that is trying to control an outcome holding on to something that is weighing him down when he has a better opportunity. So if you are the male watching this, you're not being realistic. Okay, you're not being realistic. It's like you're 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 you may be angry and upset that you didn't get what you wanted. You may be um lost your focus, lost your concentration for a minute and you got to master your emotions and open your heart to somebody else, you know, I don't know. Somebody's holding on to something that is weighing them down from a really beautiful person. Okay, so I don't know who that is for. For some of you, if you are the female watching this, you may be interested in a man that is overwhelmed and he's not really communicating with you. Maybe because he's... What the hell is the problem here? We have this man who has good intentions, but he's got some chaos going on in his life he's he's lost his focus he's lost we have a man here that is a mess okay he's a mess he's in the process of bringing taking back control of his life he may have some addictions that he's working on this could be you if you're the scorpio male needing to take back control needing to take back control of your emotions needing to you know break free from something that is not healthy Somebody is holding on to a situation that's not healthy, whether it is another person or it's an addiction, it's a drug or whatever it is. They're sabotaging a beautiful connection. Somebody is sabotaging a beautiful connection by holding on to something that is toxic and it needs to be let go. This is breaking free and this is breaking free. You got to break free from things that don't feed your soul that don't reciprocate
somebody's holding on to victim mentality mentality it's like begging for another opportunity begging 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 for an opportunity with somebody who is conceited self-centered egotistical doesn't care why would you beg for an opportunity with somebody who doesn't see your worth? It's a dead end. It's time to let go of those past hurts. It's time to let go of that pain. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time to release that pain, let go of that unhealthy situation. You know what it is. You have an opportunity to get whoever you want. Know your worth. Somebody is dealing with a liar they're dealing with somebody who is playing them and they're allowing it because they don't know their worth. You are worth more than that. It's time to take action and I mean right now. Get the hell out of that situation. Find your courage. Have no fear. Defend yourself. Get out. Somebody is being manipulated and lied to and you're just letting it happen. Maybe you're self-sabotaging yourself. Maybe you're manipulating yourself. Because there's feelings, right? There's feelings there. What about self-worth? Where does that play a part? Somebody is dealing with a trickster. No doubt. A master manipulator. I mean, I dare I say narcissist here. I mean, it does not look good. This person is very deceptive. They are very cunning and they are very crafty. Probably pretty attractive too. But they're not putting in effort. They're lying. They're not telling the truth. They're not really emotionally invested. They may be in, they may be engaging with another person who actually does know their worth. It's time to move on. It's time for you to make a decision to bring balance and harmony. It's time for you to do the right thing for you. It's time for you to be honest with yourself. And it's time for you to go after what you deserve. Stop being played by a player. And you know who it is. I don't have to tell you. I think that you guys, you need, you need to be practical here. You do. You need to love yourself enough to say, you know what, I'm worth more. Whatever, whoever this is for. Somebody's holding on to a toxic, unhealthy situation and it's time to break free. You're going to have to master your emotions, whoever you're dealing with. They got a lot of baggage. They're overwhelmed. They, you're dealing, I think you're dealing with a narcissist. You're dealing with somebody who, whose head is so big that they can't really give you their heart because they're giving their heart to probably just themselves. It's time to move on. You know it. I don't have to tell you. I don't. You're going to have to find the strength and the courage and the willpower and that force within you to know your value. 
Know your worth. Let go of the people that steal your energy and don't value you. Somebody's stolen your self-confidence. They've stolen your self-worth. They've stolen your self-esteem. What's that called? Narcissist. Find the courage to look this person in the eye and say, I'm worth more, please. You have a beautiful opportunity once you find the strength to face your fears and hold your head up high and demand respect. Somebody's clinging to the memories of the past, right? There's memories there. The memories will always be there. But this person isn't going to change. And it's time for you. It's time for you to move on. And I'm not going to keep going. I'm not because I already know this is the answer. You guys need to take action. You need, you need to protect yourself. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Their best interest is about themselves. You know, I think this person in the beginning had good intentions, but... For some reason, their intentions changed. They went from cold uh, or hot to cold uh, pretty fast. And now they're playing you because you're allowing it. You are allowing it. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I know it's painful. I do. But you got this one of our life lessons is strength to overcome. Hole in the soul. I do feel like you're bleeding. And I think that you're doing everything that you can to get this person to love you. This is you are meant. This cycle is meant to end, okay? It's meant to end. It's it's time. It's time. You know who this is about. Hole in the soul. Your childhood wounds are creating a hole in the soul. Where's that six of cups? It's in there. One way your childhood wounds disrupt an extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experienced as perpetual empty feeling. If, a, if as a child you tried to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family dramas, then you adopted a false self. When you lose your authentic self, you disconnect from your true feelings, needs, and desires. Instead, you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Being detached leads to profound loneliness and isolation as you are always mourning your true self. This card encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and mourning the abandonment and neglect you felt. And you know, when you have been abandoned as a child, those are typically the partners that you will choose because that's what you know. You need to heal your inner child so that you can get the partner that you truly deserve that you really, really deserve. Somebody has, has gotten an, a, a partner that has neglected them because they haven't healed. You know, they're going to keep getting those partners until you heal. Maybe you need past life regressions. I don't know. Maybe you need to go to a child, inner child counselor. Um, I think that somebody is really feeling a lot of pain, really feeling a lot of pain because they're dealing with a person that has abandoned them, has neglected them or is neglecting them. And they're allowing it because that's what's comfortable. You deserve more. 
It's time. It's time. It's time for a change. It's time for you to get something better. It's time for you to change your direction and close that chapter of abandonment. You don't deserve to be abandoned. You don't deserve to be neglected. You deserve to be cherished. That's what I have, Scorpio.